Okay, it's Sophie for Hit the Floor. It's the final day of Reading Festival, and I'm here with Pete and Andy of Fallout Boy. How are you? Uh, very good. Doing well. Good. Now, I heard that you use Big Pimping Jay Z to get ready. So, has that been in the dressing room today, or any other songs to get you in the mood? Uh, I like that song a lot. I think that people would be surprised uh, by how much our band likes hip hop or is influenced by hip hop, and as much as like other stuff. Uh, I think usually in the dressing room we all are doing our own thing to get ready, but uh, today we'll probably uh, we're gonna play a song, uh, the song of ours, just one yesterday with our friend Foxes. So we probably will brush up in the dressing room on the song a little bit. Mm -hmm. it, are you telling me it's a little bit rusty? Does it need a little bit of work, or have you got it there? The we literally we only played it, played it once. Wow. <laughs> It's allowed to be a little bit on the edge, isn't it? Yeah, no, so it's not rusty. It's a shiny new car that we don't know how to drive very well. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice way of looking at it. I read a review of your lead's performance, and oh, no. there was a... No, it was good. It said banging. Did it feel banging? That's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. What did it I say? It was, banging? It said it was a banging set. Oh, as in oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I love that. That's awesome. Uh, it, was, it, it was pretty crazy. Like, it just... We've been coming to Reading and Leeds for, you know, like since the beginning of our career. And when you first started as a, uh, an American band, you have like no idea what a fe like Reading and Leeds is like as a festival. But then to take like four or five years off and come back, man, it was crazy to step on that stage. You know, it was just wild. Did you watch old videos? Because I think you've done the main stage three times before. Did you look back on YouTube and go, oh, I like what we did that. Let's do that again. Or did you just go fresh and... I looked back and... Uh, you know, I was like, wow, it's like really good idea that you like didn't like dress real weird and like have a wild haircut in front of like 70,000 people or whatever. That was, that was smart of you, bro. <laughs> Do you still get nerves before or are you at the stage of your career where you're just like, we're just going to enjoy it, make the most of it and that's it and whatever happens, happens? Um, my nerves are like, uh, I think that every time it's going to be the one where the, the kids don't care. Like, you know, like, oh, this is the one where they don't. But then, like, when we step on the stage and when we, like, high-five each other in that moment, like, I feel part of this larger thing that's, I guess, our band, you know, or whatever. And, I d and then it just doesn't matter. Then it's just, like, kill them all, let God sort them out. <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> yes, in the best possible way. Now, talking about your album, I guess it was important that it kind of was an accurate representation of where you would be naturally in 2013, but was respectful of your old material. But did you also think about how good it is going to be for festivals and playing live and enjoyment for you? Uh, we, we, we did a little bit. I mean, we think about how the, the album, like how the songs will translate live, you know, and festivals are obviously uh, uh, a big part of that. But the interesting thing is like, songs are like like any other kind of art like as it ages like when you take it out to festivals and stuff it, it, they start sounding a little different like in a good way you know what i'm saying they like i was like watching uh i we gopro a bunch of the stuff you know and whatever i was watching a video of alone together and i was like well it just it sounds different you know like it's just a different experience i think it would maybe be really cool and i know like we're recording a little bit today but like to record some of it because i just think it's a different album live just put out a live album or festival performances or something I think it would be cool. You heard it here first. Andy Hurley's my lawyer. We could say yeah. that's an exclusive for yeah, Hit the Floor. Yeah. Lawyer says it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'll think about it. <laughs> What's the percentage you'll get? 100%. It's a great 100%, lawyer. 100%. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, you're going on tour in September. I think you're taking 21 Pilots. Is yeah, that right? 21 Pilots and Panic at the Disco, yeah. yeah. Now you're together after the break. Do all the little eccentricities, the little quirks that used to great, are they now endearing again? Are you like, oh, I've missed that when he does that? I think that like everybody probably, we, we understand that we need to give each other um, a certain amount of space, you know, and you understand that like this guy does this thing, you know, and this, you know, like that doesn't mean like, I mean, we're friends with each other. So like when somebody's like not feeling, when someone's feeling down or feeling whatever, like you try to help your friend out like you would do like anyone else would do um i don't know like as with like any brother to the relationship i'm sure there's a couple things that we do to each other that like annoy each other but it's just like how it's life you know yeah. yeah i think you've been quite brave throughout your career and you're always 
you're prepared for backlashes after successes and stuff like that. What's the next brave thing you're going to do with Fallout Boy? Is there anything really out there, like a Fallout Boy movie, perhaps, or something really well, shocking? We're doing 11 videos right now that are going to be become one continuous story uh, that will hopefully. I don't know what the. I mean, like we have a we have a basic idea of what the ending is going to be, but. I hope people are not super sad about it. And then uh, uh, we have a documentary that we've been working on for a while, and we have like a bunch of stuff that like we could, we kind of like get like a bunch of stuff going, and then we'll see where all of it ends up. The one thing I think is at some point we're going to end up back, and we're going to make it to Antarctica, and we're going to do that trip. I saw you saying that in an interview. I think that you really want to do it. I love we went, to go. Yeah, we went as close as you could possibly get without going, and the weather didn't permit. So. We're going to do it. If you want anyone to cover it in a press capacity. You're in. Yes. Just ask my lawyer. We, we got, oh, no. The best lawyer in town. Damn it. Okay. Well, have a good rest of the day and have a good year. Thank you.